Do you know Frank Luntz, the pollster? Frank Luntz, there's a story here at Media. I just got this. We'll get to the Obama soap opera in just a second, because it's classic. It's already begun. I'll set the I'll set the, the plot line for you here in just a mere moment. And apparently, it's a profile of Frank Luntz, who, as you know, does political focus groups on Fox. He assembles a bunch of people that are said to be a cross section of America, and he gives them little electronic devices, and they register their opinion and other reactions as they're listening to things. And then after what it is they're watching is over, Luntz goes in there and uh, interviews them and has a group discussion with the focus group. Now, the profile of Luntz in The Atlantic says that Luntz sunk into a depression following the 2012 election. After Obama won, Luntz described himself as less healthy now than he has ever been in his life. Sleeping two or three hours at a time and fretting over the future of his career in political consulting. The crisis began, Luntz says, after last year's presidential election when he became profoundly depressed. For more than a month, Luntz tried to stay occupied, but nothing could keep his attention. Finally, six weeks after the election, during a meeting of his consulting company in Las Vegas, Luntz fell apart. Leaving his employees behind, he flew back to his mansion in Los Angeles, where he stayed for three weeks, barely going outside or talking to anyone. Well, if that's the definition of depressed, count me in, because that's me. Sequestered and not talk, that's that to me is freedom. <laughs> but for Luntz, it was the definition of depression. He said, I just gave up. I just gave up. After the election, he seemingly realized Americans want to impose their opinions rather than express them. That's a quote. And that a divided country will find it harder to warmly receive his conservative sales pitches. He says, I'm not good enough. And I hate that. I have come to the extent of my capabilities. And this is not false modesty. I think I'm pretty good, but I am not good enough. The old Frank Luntz was sure he could invent slogans to sell the righteous conservative path of personal responsibility and free markets to anybody. The new Frank Luntz, this is the author of the piece, right? A new Frank Luntz fears that's no longer the case, and it's driving him crazy. Now, according to the profile, Frank Luntz is considering breaking into Hollywood as a consultant as he no longer works any existing political contracts and has apparently submitted many pitches to Hollywood studios. So according to this profile in the, in the Atlantic, Luntz thought that his work with the focus groups and I guess advising candidates on how to talk and what to say was going to lead to Obama's defeat in November of 2012. And it didn't happen. And so... Frank is now questioning his capabilities. He says, I, I did as good as I could, but I'm not able to persuade people anymore. I just, I, I, uh, I, I, I'm not good enough. Uh, I, I, I've, I've come to the extent of my capabilities. The old Frank Luntz was sure he could invent slogans to sell the righteous conservative path of personal responsibility and free markets to anyone. The new Frank Luntz fears that's no longer the case. So he can't do it. He can't persuade me. I didn't know that's what he was doing. Snurdly, did you know that's what he was doing? Did you? Honest, folks, honestly, now, I'm, again, not trying to be... Pro, I had no idea Luntz was trying to persuade people. I thought what Luntz was doing was, was focus groups... And learning what people thought about things and going on TV with it. I, I, I didn't know that Luntz was trying to win anything. I didn't know that Luntz was trying to come up with slogans. Help. What? I'm, I, I had no idea that's what Luntz was trying to do. His focus groups were an attempt to persuade people of conservatism. 
You get this from the piece. Luntz, most of all, says he wishes we would stop yelling at one another. He dreams of drafting some of the rich CEOs that he's friends with to come up with a plan for saving America from its elected officials. Why well, <laughs> the no labels bunch? I'm just telling you, I'm I'm honestly surprised here. I did not look if Luntz was trying to affect the outcome of elections, he he could have done those focus groups in an entirely different way. Uh, anyway, so Luntz is not going to try to go work for Hollywood. He's rich CEOs and get them to run and so forth. Dep- depressed for three. What? I don't know. I don't know if he was Perot's pollster or not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But he's lived in Hollywood for a long time. He's, this is not new. Uh, that, I mean, he's been trying to get in his consulting firm with people in Hollywood. That isn't really new. I guess it is to the... I'm just... I'm, I'm literally surprised to learn that once was trying to... That doesn't make sense with what I saw. That just doesn't... 